right. So it's Gravity Films. Another interview. Let me know who we have here. Big A2900. Okay, okay. So since this is our first interview, let me know exactly where you're from and how it was growing up. Where you're from? I am from uh, Portsmouth, Virginia, downtown from Mount Hermon. Um, that's in the downtown area by London Oaks or that anybody familiar with the area. But I can say when I was growing up, man, it was, um, I grew up around a clique of hustlers, so we tried to do anything, get some money, cut grass, wash cars, sell candy, whatever it was, we was doing to try to get some paper, you know what I mean? Um, we played sports, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we, we really could be outside and have fun, you know what I'm saying? It was a lot different mm -hmm. back then, like, you know what I mean? We used to rap on the karaoke machine, record, you know what I'm saying? And my homie used to mix it, put it, burn the tape into CDs, you know what I'm saying? And I used to go to school and try to sell my little tapes, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I was always known for rapping and shit. I mean, it's more of a, you know what I mean? I was more more of an introvert back then when I was younger as far as, uh, you know, I mean, I knew everybody was cool, everybody, but, you know, I mean, I was stayed to myself, you feel what I'm saying? But I can say that's how it was. We could actually go out, you know what I'm saying, and have fun. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't got to worry about, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they shot, you know what I mean? People did shit, but, it, you know what I'm saying? We had fun back back in the day. That's what I can say. Like. So, in your opinion, mm -hmm. What do you think changed? Like, what was the switch? Because, you know, I feel like nowadays, like, when I when we was growing up, mm -hmm. like, it was a lot of fights and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And we didn't see, like, yeah, there were shootings and stuff, but it feels like now is more than ever. Right. Where do you think the switch came from? Or was there, did, is, there, we, is right. there a switch? Are right. we just getting older or, yeah, it, you know it, what I'm saying? I could when you get older, you see things for a lot different from when you 18, 19. But I can say, not to put it on nobody, but or a particular city or nothing like that. But ever since like the, the drill scene, you mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? Social media, the drill scene. Um, I can say that's where the switch was because everybody want to be like Chicago. Everybody got to have their 30s. Everybody got to have their pipes. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody dissing online, back and forth. You feel what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. when you got a bigger audience, you feel what I'm saying? Like back in the day, you got beef. Yeah, school might know or just the people that's around. But when you got a whole different cities and different people from different states, you feel what I'm saying? Like people humiliating, you can't fight. You you fight somebody, you beat them, you probably going to, you know what I mean? You got to worry about getting shot. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't nobody mm -hmm. going to get no ass whooping on camera these days. You feel what I'm saying? Like, nigga, shoot that homie. You feel what I'm saying? So, not to put it on nobody, but I just feel like it, it became fashionable. You know what I'm saying? Just like every every era, era had that fashion. Like when G-Unit came out, you feel what I'm saying? Everybody wanted to be, you know what I'm saying, like that. Then you got Dipset. Everybody was Bloods. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Then Lil Wayne, that generation. Then, you know what I'm saying? Then you had the new generation. And then it was the Chief Keef. They, they just switched over the world. So it just became fashionable. And then with social media compared to back then, everything is, you can see everything. It's the first thing people doing is pulling out camera phones. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Nowadays. Back then, I won't like that. You know what I'm saying? So it was crazy. I, I got in a fight. <laughs> it's crazy. At a bar. You know what I'm saying? Like back in 2018. And after I dusted a little white boy off, I look around. You would think I was a goddamn celebrity out there. So many goddamn camera phones. You know what I'm saying? Off a fight. So when you get beat up and you see, okay, well, damn, this shit finna be a world star, the internet. You know what I'm saying? That'd make you have a, a irrational decision. You know what I'm saying? You'll throw your life away and you'll fuck around and lose yours off a simple fight. You feel what I'm saying? So I, I can say that's where the switch was, man. Like the early 2010s, 12s, the 13s, the 14s. You know what I'm saying, everybody? That's what made the switch. Like that's that's when shit got popping. Like that's when you it's said like, the social media and drill. Yeah, and in, in, in the music, you know what I'm saying. And then back in the day when we was young, we weren't taking pills and all these perks and zans and you know what I'm saying, all this shit, the lean and all that. Like niggas was taking drugs, but like each young niggas taking these drugs and they just going to fire everything up. They got these switches. You feel what I'm saying? And like I say, I rap too, so. I ain't going to say I'm the most perfect rapper. I tell my story, but when you, 
you it's just different lifestyles. You feel what I'm saying? When you gang gang and you dissing the dead, you know what I'm saying? Dissing your ops. And the youngest, they like that. You feel what I'm saying? Sex, money, and violence, that's what sells. So it's like, um, you got the, the commercial, but the, like that drill shit is like a, a street documentary. It's so intriguing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It keep you glued. Like, damn, this shit real. Like, people really died doing Like, people, like, people look at it like they characters, but they real life. They real people out here dying, man. You know what I'm saying? And... I know it plays a part because when I was just recently locked up, like, that hip hop police shit, that shit is real. They came to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. yo, yeah, we we you big A, you yeah, you from Portsmouth, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, what the fuck? Yeah, you got a song with this person, that person. What, what you pushing? What you banging? Like, sir, I don't bang nothing. You feel what I'm saying? But they looking and they watching. I'm not even no. Super, super big time, you know what I'm saying? Like, on to, but they, they, even from the smallest people to the people that got a little buzz and a bigger buzz and the buzz higher than that, they paying attention to everything. Everything on the devices that you're putting on social media, you know what I'm saying? They watching it and they using it, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I can say that's, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's my opinion about it.